Thursday. Um, uh, real quick, before I get into my books, I got a nice haul. I got, I got this, plus these guys. And if I have time, I'll show these off. But um, real quick, contest. Um, I had said that this was going to be one of the prizes for my contest. I had committed to a trade with uh, a buddy of mine, so I'm not going to be able to include this as one of the prizes in my contest. But I'm going to replace that one book with these two books, so hopefully that makes up for it. And these are X-Men 213 with this awesome Alan Davis cover. That's just really sweet. And X-Men 268 with this wicked cool Jim Lee. So hopefully that's okay. Um, if not, let me know and I'll pull your name out of the contest. But um, I'm, I'm sorry. I just I made a commitment and I couldn't justify it in my head. I thought I had another copy of this book and I didn't. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. But enough bad news. Let's get some books. We'll start off with the new stuff and then we'll move to the stuff I got all off at 50% uh, off. Because um, the shops have another sell. Uh, new books wise, I got The Wicked and the Divine number one. I guess this came out last week. My shop didn't have it. I guess they got it in late. I picked this up. Uh, I read it. I handed it off to my girlfriend. She's like, put that on the list. I'm like, yes, ma'am. I really liked it. I got the new issue of Magneto. This is my, this is the only Marvel book really that I read. So this is my favorite Marvel book by default. But this book is amazing. If any of you guys out there are fans of like the, the late... 80s, early 90s X-Men stuff that Mark Silvestri was doing with Chris Claremont. This book, this title in particular, this issue in particular should totally be in your wheelhouse. Um, do you remember uh, the Mutant Massacre and they didn't really tie that up? It's getting tied up in this. This book is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. The guy at the shop asked me if I wanted this. Um... I said, sure, why not? My nephew's a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan, so I picked up the variant for Magneto. Um, I don't understand why the Guardians of the Galaxy are on the cover of Magneto, but I paid cover for this, so, you know, whatever. Um, if he's not into it, I don't, I don't know. He's kind of iffy with his books. So, if anybody's interested in a trade or whatever, let me know, because I'm, other than the fact I just like the cover, I, I already have a copy of Magneto, number six, and I don't understand why they're on the cover. <laughs> Sorry, moving on. East to West, number 13. This is my favorite book, or this is my favorite week for new comics because I get Magneto and East to West. This book um, is yet to disappoint me. I started in this late, but I picked up all the singles. I love this title. This is getting good. I don't want to give it away because I think you guys should go read it, but yeah. And last for new books, I got the new issue of Saga. Um... It kind of upset me a little bit. Not the con I mean, not the book. The, the book is amazing, but just the story kind of upset me, which it then clicked that I was emotionally invested in these characters, so that's a good thing with a comic, to become emotionally invested in the characters. Uh, we all know that the parents are going to break up eventually anyway. They mentioned that in the last issue, but it's still going to suck to see. And I think the way that they're leading into that here is kind of crappy. But... You know, divorce is a real thing. So, yesterday when I was at the shop, the guy came running, the guy that works at the shop came running out of the office. He's like, hey man, hey man, hey man, did you see my X-Men 21? I was like, no nah, dude, I didn't see your X-Men 21. He goes, check this out. So we walk over to the stacks and he pulls this out. And then he tells me about the sale that they're having this weekend and that this book would be half off so, and they would hold it for me. I'm like, cool. Um, it's not in the greatest shape. There's like some, some of that happening right there. And there's a little bit of, it looks like water damage, but the pages in the inside are fine. They're off-white and they're still supple. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but I paid four bucks for this book. So I wasn't going to say no. I mean, this is the lowest grade copy of X-Men in my collection, but that's fine with me. I mean, $4, X-Men 21, right on. Picked up some X-Force to go with my X-Static. Uh, I finished that runoff. I have a couple books in here. This is 123. This book was a lot of fun. No dialogue. Story was a little weird, but it was interesting nonetheless. And Mike Allred's art is always amazing. This is uh, X-Factor 125. 
static number three, which is one of the two issues I was missing, and static number four, which was the last issue with this awesome Frank Quitely, Mike Allred cover. Frank Quitely is becoming one of my favorites. I like the way he draws women. They're, uh, they're not stick figures. He likes hips on his ladies, and that's cool because, you know, ladies have hips. I picked up, I think the rest of these, well, most of these, the rest of these books were in the dollar bin. So you're looking at like 50 cents a piece. I got iZombie number six. Excuse me, number seven. I really like this cover. It reminds me of like a Fulci movie from the 80s or some early Mario Bava stuff. And for all you film buffs out there, you'll know who I'm talking about. This is number nine. Number ten. And if any of you guys aren't film buffs but like horror movies, check out some Mario Bava or some... Fulci. It's really good. Uh, this is, those are the directors. This is uh, number 11. Number 12. Very cool. Nice lady drawing. Nice lady drawing. Wow. Anyway, sorry. 13. I'm kind of in a hurry. We got a lot of stuff to get through. I'm sorry. 14. 15. 19. This one I picked up today at the uh, at another shop. The the shop with the sales chain. And one of them is really close to my house and the one's like 40 minutes away. I stopped by the one really close to my house just to see. And I found this for $1.50. This is uh this is number 20. This I got yesterday, $21 bin. 22 and 25. And yesterday I picked this up for 50 cents. Um, this is Nemesis the Warlock. I'm sure a bunch of my friends in the UK are like, yeah, and I'm with you. Uh, I wasn't, I have some Nemesis stuff, but it's not from Eagle. So I'm sure this is just like reprints from 2000 AD. But I was kind of bummed out because uh, O'Neill didn't do the interior art. But for 50 cents I had just buy this cover. Oh, stay. Book's falling over. Okay. I got a copy of Aliens vs. Predator number one. I was very happy to find this, uh, especially for a buck. I got home, I found it was the second printing. But, you know, really, I don't care. This was uh, the most popular direct market comic book. So, you know, for a buck, why not? And it's Aliens vs. Predator number one. That's like the big thing. I remember back in the day, this was a hot book, and I was like, man, that would have been awesome. That would have been awesome, but I'd feel like I'm, I missed the boat. So this is just proof that, like, all this stuff in one point is going to be uh, dollar bin fodder. So if you guys are missing titles, don't don't stress, man. Just hold out a little bit, and you'll find it in dollar bin. I got the uh, Vertigo Essentials number one for Fables for Buck. I picked up Fables number 113 for $1.50. I picked up Fables, where are the prices, or number, 121. I got this today with that uh, iZombie. I picked up the Vertigo Essentials for 100 bullets. I think this might be a double for me. I'm not sure, but it's a buck. I got 100 bullets, number 71. Very cool. Dave Johnson covers. This story's pretty good, too, and everybody liked his Wonder Woman stuff, so even if they hadn't announced that this was going to be a or option for a whatever, I mean, the, the, book, the book is still worth a read. This is number 73, and um, the rest of these are Swamp Issue, or Swamp Thing. I, uh, I went back today just to get these books on half off, because, I mean, they're new books. These are This is some of the new, the 52. This is number 25, so... Why pay full price when you can just wait a couple hours and pay half? 29. And uh, this was a new book. I'm sorry I didn't include it before, but this is number 33. So yeah, uh, that's my haul. That's kind of a long video for me. Sorry about that. And sorry about this again. But I think this is a comparable uh, prize. Um, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. I think I'm up to like 120 right now. That's awesome. Uh, I do most of my YouTube and on my phone, so I haven't been able to subscribe back to you guys, but I will when I get a minute and can go on my uh, my computer. But um, I thank you very much for the support. That's that's all been really cool. Um, 
really, it's cool. Uh, what else was I going to say? I don't remember, so it's not important. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a good day.